Welcome to the Soul Forge, a place of silent mystery, quiet contemplation, and outright mayhem. Join your host, Sean Vanderloo, as he guides you through the adventures of living. Together, we'll talk about life and love, sex and dating, joy and heartache, memories and loss, and so much more. Don't worry, it's not nearly as pretentious as it sounds. Get ready for life, the universe, and everything on The Soul Forge. Hello, friends. Welcome to episode 16 of The Soul Forge podcast. I'm very happy you could make it today. What are we going to talk about on this episode? Well, it's kind of a uh, State of the Union episode, a little bit about uh, feedback and recognition and, and all that kind of good stuff. So the podcast has now been live and online for approximately two months, and it's I think it's going pretty well for a two-month-old podcast. So I just checked the website, which actually is soulforgepodcast.com. If you haven't been to the site or visited it yet recently, you should probably check it out. Lots of cool stuff on there. But... Uh, 732 downloads since the podcast was launched on July 31st of 2017. So 15 episodes, 732 downloads means on average 48.8 downloads per episode. Now, of course, I've gone through and looked at the actual individual stats per episode and each episode does not have 48 listens. What have we got? Well, we've got all kinds of different episodes. We've, uh, we've done episodes on dating. We've done episodes on happiness, anger, loss, fatherhood, anxiety and depression, who I am as a person, as your host, and a few other various different random things. Just looking through the list, most episodes on average get about 20 to 25 listens. However, uh, the one that I did last on a tribute to my mom, actually did get 44, and the one on anxiety and depression with my friend Heather, I think when I looked last, had 48, 47 lessons. So that's on average. That's not too bad. Surprisingly, the one that I did about who I am, who I am as your host, has received the second most amount of downloads at 171. But the one on loss, that actually received nearly 200 episodes episode lessons, 196 lessons so far. That's really rather impressive, I, I think, actually. Why, why do those two stick out? Who, who am I and what have I lost? That, I, I don't know. What That somehow speaks to my audience. I, I don't know why, I don't know how, but I, I'm glad that uh, those few episodes are, are finding their way with people. So just to recap, I, I know I put this at the end credits, but maybe not everybody listens to it. If you want to get a hold of the podcast, get a hold of me in any way, ask me some questions, give me some feedback. You can find me on Twitter at SoulForgePod. You can just tweet something there and uh, I'll answer it either on Twitter or I'll answer it on on an episode. You can send an email to SoulForgePodcast at gmail.com. You can also go to Facebook. We've got a big presence there, facebook.com slash SoulForgePodcast. And uh, I'm on Twitter personally at Darth Vaderloo. That's D-A-R-T-H-V-A-D-E-R-L-O-O. So all kinds of ways to reach the podcast, and I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think of the show so far? What episodes have spoken to you? Is there anything you think that I could improve or do differently? Should I have a regular day to have these podcasts come out instead of just randomly whenever? I, I, I just need to know what you guys think. Maybe you like it just the way it is, just totally random, but that's why I'm doing this particular episode 16, a little bit about uh, working in a vacuum. And that's what it's felt like for for a bit. Like, I've got a couple uh, friends here in town that I know listen to the podcast, and they tell me that, oh, it's great, and that episode really struck home, and, and this, that, and the other thing. But that's that's friends, that's family. This is Kitty from Jump City Comics, and you're listening to the Soul Forge podcast. Forge your soul. I want to know what the strangers think, what people who don't know me personally actually think of these episodes. So if you're listening to this episode and you haven't written in to me or you've you've thought about writing in and you haven't done it yet, now's a great time to do it. Put put the episode on pause. I'll wait. 
And, and go ahead, send me a, an email, a tweet, right on the Facebook page wall. Go to Twitter, go to soulforgepodcast.com, any of those things. And you know what will also be fantastic? There's a link at soulforgepodcast.com to find us in the iTunes store. If you leave a five-star review in the iTunes store, that means we, we could possibly get this podcast up higher in the rankings, get more people to listen to it, and get a nice little community going. And I would love that. I would love to have some kind of regular dialogue feedback going with uh, a whole group of people. That would be awesome. I would love that. So saying all that, what it's felt like, and, and even on my other podcast, which has been going for nearly four years, we get the occasional email and it's awesome. But for the most part, uh, we get our downloads and it's great, but it feels like I'm working in a vacuum. Like I'm, I'm talking to this microphone and I release the episodes and I, and I get some downloads and that's great. But uh, what, do you, what do you think? What, what, what's going on? How does it make you feel? That's what I want to know. And that's why I'm doing the show. I'm laying my soul open and giving you guys all kinds of personal stories and information on who I am and being honest and truthful in a way that I guess is unusual for me because I don't normally talk about these kind of things. And I've talked about stuff on this sh- on previous episodes of the show that I've never talked to anybody. And why not? Why don't I just go ahead and do it right on online on, on a podcast episode and let the whole world hear? It's it's a scary thing sometimes. Should I talk about that, I wonder? You know what? People aren't talking about these things, so I, I will do it. I'll do it. I'll talk I'll talk about this stuff. And hopefully even if I'm helping one person to come out of their shell or face something that they haven't been able to face before, hey, that's that's success in my book. Uh, I, and I don't do the uh, the episodes or the show for any kind of fame and fortune or, or platitudes or a pat on the back or, or anything like that. But it is nice to know that somebody's getting value from the show. So if you are, just let me know. I, I'd appreciate it so much. If you are loving this podcast, if you're loving this podcast, you should tell a friend about it. Spread the word about podcasts you think they would enjoy. There's something for everyone from entertainment and lifestyle to news and politics and more. Share it on social media. Believe it or not, some people don't know how great podcasts are or even how to find and listen to them. You can help change that with a click. Tell your friends about your favorite podcast. Thanks for spreading the word. Okay, so that being said, what brought this whole topic up is that I actually did receive an email. Back in the day, uh... How long ago was it? Well, it might have been two years ago now. I, uh, I start, well, I didn't start it up, but a good friend of mine named Paul, who I've never actually met in person because he lives in the UK and we met through podcasting. He decided to start up a podcast and he needed a co-host. And at the time I was, uh, on my way to splitting up with Bridget and I was going to have a lot of free time. So yeah, it must've been two and a half years ago now. We started up the Sci-Fi Waffle podcast. And we just talked about general geeky things, uh, kind of like the rusted robot, but just in a different vein with, uh, with his unique British sense of humor and style and my Canadian sense of humor and style. It was a good show. It lasted for, I think, 40 episodes. And one of these days, I'm actually planning on going over to the UK and visiting all my UK buddies. So what happened? Well, my good buddy Paul listened to episode 14 of this show, and he decided to send in some feedback which was awesome. So here it is. Episode 14 feedback. Hi, Sean. I just wanted to let you know that episode 14 with your friend Heather was a fabulous, honest, and amazing podcast. Heather was amazingly open with what is a very difficult thing to talk about, especially to a close friend, let alone on a podcast, knowing that more people, and he's in parenthesis put, all 14 of us will be listening. Listening to what Heather was saying opened my eyes to anxiety and helped me understand some of the feelings I have had over the years. I have had nothing close to anxiety attacks or long-term depression, but small and simple things like Heather mentioned, like talking on the phone or ordering a burger, I find difficult. I always let my wife do those things because I have been overthinking the situation I'm about to get into. And here we're, I'll pause in the email, and that is very true. I I suffered from the same thing for years and years. Uh, When I was with Bishop's mom, Trish, uh, we'd always uh, go, go through the uh, the coffee shop drive through or to the, uh, like a McDonald's or a Wendy's or whatever. And I'd be driving because she didn't have her license, but I would make her talk into the microphone past me because I didn't want to talk to the to the people. I, I can do it now, and I, I've come amazingly far away, but I understand exactly what Paul's talking about. I will not 
talk on the phone if I don't have to. I won't order a pizza over the phone. I'd rather go into the store. I don't know why that is, but somehow face-to-face -face communication is easier for me than phone calls. I, I don't get it. It seems like it should be the other way around, but back to the email. I have recently taken up archery, and this coming weekend I have entered a tournament. As it gets closer, I really wish I hadn't. I want to pull out of it, but I am representing the club I belong to, so I would be letting them down if I don't turn up. I am getting more anxious the closer it gets. I am looking for excuses not to go. The silly thing is, I know that when I get there, I will be fine. Heather sounds like an amazing person and was very brave in talking about her personal problems on the podcast. Please let her know that what she did was very much appreciated and helped a lot. The previous podcast with the brothers' road trip was compulsive listening. You are on a roll, my friend. Paul. So, Paul, I know I sent you back a personal email, but I just wanted to take this time right here on the podcast to thank you for sending in some feedback. It's awesome. It's uh, very honest. And I didn't know that about you. See, uh, I've never met any of my British podcast buddies. And because, maybe because of the accent, I just seem to think that they're... They're all brilliant, and they've all got their lives together, and they would have no problems. And of course, I know that's not realistic, because everybody has their issues, but I, I guess maybe the accent fools me because it sounds so sophisticated. But it was nice to hear from Paul in a, in a different way, because we, we've talked about all kinds of uh, geeky things and whatnot, but I don't think we've ever gotten into the real nitty-gritty of the of the personal details. I had no idea that uh, he let his wife do the ordering for him. So that, that was quite an insight that I hadn't uh, had before. And like he said, listening to episode 14 really opened his eyes to certain things, and it helped him uh, acknowledge things in himself. And he, he's uh, going to be growing as a person because of that particular episode. So thank you, Paul. And Heather, thank you for being on the show. I can't thank you enough for that. It's fantastic. I'm glad you were able to do that. I know it's not easy. Even podcasting in general isn't easy because, you know, uh, on, on the Rusted Robot podcast that I do, I have a co-host because that way I can bounce ideas around, get some feedback and, and talk about different things and the topics can go in different directions because there's more than one person. But here it's just me. It's all in my brain and it's all just coming out. It's spewing out of my face into the microphone, and later I'll edit it all up and make it nice and clear and get rid of the ums and the ahs and the pauses and the, and the breathing artifact sounds and all that stuff. But right now, I'm just sitting here talking to the microphone in an empty room, and it kind of feels ridiculous, but I know it's worth it, and that's why I continue to do it. So, if anybody else would uh, like to be on the actual Soul Forge podcast, like Heather was, we could always Skype you in and have a conversation for as little or as long as you'd like, and we can talk about any kind of particular topic that you want. I I'd like to get some more uh, guest stars on the show, so if you want to, then hey, just remember, send an email to soulforgepodcast at gmail.com, and we can, we can have a little bit of a discussion of what you'd like to talk about, we'll set up a Skype time, and we'll, we'll, have, we'll have a show, and get some uh, awesome feedback again for more emails from different people, different listeners, different subscribers, that would be awesome. So, guys, if you are getting, guys and girls, if you are getting some value out of this, you know what, even if you don't tell me, tell your friends. Let people know that this podcast exists, what it's trying to do. Help you be a better person. The Soul Forge Podcast. Be a better human. I'm actually thinking of making some business cards. I've got a design. And uh, you know what? I, I think I'm going to print them out. Maybe to do it through Vistaprint. And that's what I'm thinking for the, the, the caption on the actual business card itself. The Soul Forge Podcast. Subtitled, Be a Better Human. What do you guys think? Anyway, that's it for this episode. Just wanted to do a, a quick little feedback recognition update kind of show. And uh, we'll, we'll talk again soon. And, and like I said throughout this whole thing, if you're enjoying it, let me know. Even a, even a quick simple tweet, that, that'd be great. Or an email or write something on the, uh, the Facebook page. Join today. It's great. Maybe even leave a uh, five-star review in the iTunes store or just tell your friends. Do whatever you want. Just whatever you do. I don't even know where I was going to go with that. I was going to even edit that out because I lost my train of thought, but I'm not going to because this is an honest show and that's the way it is. So just wanted to, once again, thank you guys for listening. Hope this hasn't been too rambly and uh, scattered, but uh, I'll be coming back to you again soon with a new podcast and who knows what it'll be about. So once again, thanks for stopping in and remember, everything will work out just fine. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Soul Forge. 
I hope you found some value in it. To contact the show, please email soulforgepodcast at gmail.com or find us on Twitter at soulforgepod. We are Soulforge Podcast on Facebook, and you can find me personally on Twitter and Instagram at Darth Vaderloo. Please spread the Soulforge word by rating and reviewing us in iTunes and by telling everyone you know. Thanks for stopping by the Forge.